Um, I think it's... Okay, it's recording, alright. Hey guys, Simon here. We're doing something a little bit different today. We are playing a Flash game. Huh. So the game is Socrates Jones, uh, Pro Philosopher. So it's a Flash game. As you can see, uh, there's the website there. I might just give you that link in the in the video description, but you can probably just pick it up or just kind of Google it and you'll find it, I guess. So it's it's a... <laughs> It's, it's a game about philosophy, which is awesome, which is why I'm doing it, right? And also, it's, it's I mean, the gameplay is kind of like Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I don't know if you've played that or have seen that. Basically, it's just dialogue. Mostly it's just dialogue, but uh, you're trying to figure things out as you go. So let, let's not talk too much. I have to do... Actually, I'm not going to do voice acting. I'm just going to read out what they say, but there's no, there's no voice acting in the game, so I have to read the, uh, the text, and there's quite a bit of text, too. So let's just get into it, and I'll, I'll talk about it as we play the new game. Is that too loud? It might be too loud, the sound effects. Uh, prologue. One New York morning. So we're in New York. It's quite loud, isn't it, the music? Let me just check the volume. Yeah, it would be quite loud. Uh, morning, Ari. Are you ready for school? Of course, guess what? We're talking about John Stuart Mill in class today. What a nerd. <laughs> Who? <laughs> so apparently, this is me, and my name is Socrates, apparently. So her name is Ari, you kidding, right? John Stuart Mill? I don't think anyone knows who he is aside from philosophy majors. Uh, Socrates, oh wait, I think I know he's a comedian, right? <laughs> no, you're a comedian, Socrates. Moral philosopher? Utilitarianism? I see. He's brilliant. Opened up my eyes to a new way to view the world. That's good. Actually, what's that? It's like soap. Is that like a kitchen? Oh, it's detergent. Why are they in the kitchen? Uh, Socrates says dot dot dot. Uh, dad? Hmm, dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. And then Ari punches him. In the face, I think. <laughs> what? <laughs> Were you paying attention to anything I just said? No. Um, oh, someone's at the door. You can tell me about this later, okay? Hurry up, I have school in half an hour. Wait, why do... How old is she? She's got boobs. Aren't, aren't you gonna go to school yourself? And we're in New York City, right? We're not. I'm sure you can figure out how to get to school. Uh, Socrates, my name is Socrates Jones. Everyone in my family seems to care about philosophy, but I could never really get into it. But your name is Socrates. That must suck. <laughs> if you're not into philosophy and your name's Socrates. I'm just an accountant, after all. Why should I care about the, na the nature of right and wrong? Wait, is that what philosophy is? The nature of right and wrong? I thought philosophy is more than that. Although the nature of right and wrong is one philosophical thing you can think about. Hey, Billy. Billy says, well, hey there. Um, hi. <laughs> can we just leave? Can we just ignore him and leave? Uh, the name's Billy. Billy the salesman. I, I was traveling this... Okay, is he southern? I was traveling this country selling my wares when I saw your shabby apartment and instantly knew there lives a man who appreciates a good deal. <laughs> Excuse me. How would you like to hear about the fabulous bargains I have for you today? Um, do you sell games for cheap? Um, wait, whoa, hey, what about me? That was fast. Did I miss something? Anyway, she interrupts me. I think I just got punched in the face again. I don't know what that sound effect is. Uh, what are you doing here? I got bored. Go to school. You're half an hour before you have to get to school. Isn't traffic really bad in, in New York City? Uh, but I just left. Doesn't mean I can't be bored. Who's this guy? I'm glad you asked, little lady. Um, the name's Billy Billy the Salesman. Alright. I think we should hear about... Do they really interrupt each other like that? Because I can't really... Never mind. I'm just gonna ignore the parts where they interrupt each other. Uh, if you don't bother to at least listen, you aren't going to get anywhere. Yeah, we can just ignore him and leave and get on with our lives. 
Thank you, Miss. You won't regret it. Pretty sure I will. Okay, Billy, let's see what you've got. So this is the tutorial, if you are wondering. He's not a philosopher. But he's going to present the game mechanics to you. Like that, present. I have a great product for you. It's the best there is, so the red stuff is the arguments. You need my product to do what it does. Um, you don't want those pests around. And that's what I've got for you all. He didn't actually say anything. <laughs> he hardly told me anything. Horse feathers. I told you my product was the best in mine. What more do you need to know? Uh, Ari... Wait a minute. Is that a name? Ariane... Is that a silent E or not? Ariadne? Jones? Ariane? Ari Ariane? Is that actually a word? I don't know how to say the name. Ari Jones. This is all your fault. You didn't tell me anything. What do I do? <laughs> well, generally one goes about getting more information by asking questions. That's a good start. In this case, it's probably most appropriate to ask for clarification. Okay. If you clear up any vagueness surrounding his ideas, you'll be in a much better position to deal with him. Right. Okay. Good. Most arguments are made out of multiple statements. Be sure to check them all for anything that seems vague. <laughs> no, I'm not buying. Actually, you gotta hear your pitch again. Alright, let's do it again. Ask for clarification option added. So, I have a great product for you. You can ask for clarification. What kind of product would that be exactly? Billy's Deer Repellent. Uh-huh. Statement updated. The product I've got here is Billy's Deer Repellent. It's the best there is. Alright, ask for clarification. What do you mean by that? It's the best. It's better than the rest. It's really good at doing what it does, partner. Right. I guess there's no clarifying this bit of sales speak. It's the best there is. Well, yes, yes there is. He just said it's better than all the other deer repellents on the market. He did clarify that. You need my product to do what it does. What does that mean? Uh, it only protects you from danger. The danger of deer. And trust me, you can use all the protection you can get. Alright. His argument is much clearer now. Maybe <laughs> I do need a steer repellent after all. Are you serious? Ah, uh, yes, you're wrong. Dad, can't you just... You can't just let an argument go unexamined, no matter how clearly stated. Especially when someone is trying to talk you into buying deer repellent. Uh, what else is there to do? In a situation like this, if something seems to be on shaky ground, you need to ask for backing. Alright. Make sure his, he can support his statements with foundational ideas. Make sure he can support his statements with foundational ideas. Right. Yes, I know you're still here. Alright, can you hear... Alright, let's hear the pitch again. Press for backing option added. The product I've got here is Billy's Deer Repellent. I don't think we need to press for backing, backing in there. It's the best there is. Press for backing. Can you back that statement up? Back that up. Uh, sure thing, partner. My product does everything better than competing products. Well, there you go. See, I don't know why you need to press for backing to get that instead of just asking for some clarification. So the game mechanics is slightly odd because you're trying to argue with someone. But they've got pre preset, you know, dialogue. Uh, therefore, it is by definition the best. Okay. There are competing products. Uh, no. But that means that without a doubt, mine's the best. Okay. There are no competing deer repellents. Maybe you should call it Billy's best deer repellent. Maybe you should, bro. It's the best there is. You need that product to protect you from the danger of deer. Can you back that up? Uh, well, you never know when a deer will attack. <laughs> and if you don't have my product, you'll be in quite a predicament, partner. Better to be safe than sorry. Like they tell us in health class, always use protection. Yes, always use protection, Nari, especially you. Well, your teachers are right. Protection is always good. 
dot dot dot. Hold on, I'm not sure I buy this. We're talking about deer, right? Yes, we are. As in Pambi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I see. Are you really trying to tell me that Bambi poses a threat to my well-being? That's going to take quite a bit of convincing. Bambi is dangerous, partner. He may look cute, but that deer is a little monster. I don't know. Let me tell you why deer are a menace to our society. Alright, here we go, new stuff. They eat our crops. Do they? They steal our jobs. <laughs> Every year they cause accidents and injuries. Why, the only reason you're safe is that I'm here with my return. And there we go, as you can see those darn deer threaten our very way of life. Uh, I'm not sure everything you said that is true. You know that in a debate you can do more than just ask questions. In fact, sometimes that just won't cut it. Okay. Sometimes you may need to challenge your opponent with a counterpoint. Some fact or observation which throws a wrench in the presumption that a statement is true. For example, the fact that deer live in the woods might throw a wrench in one of Billy's statements here. If you find that statement and present this observation to counter it, you should be home free. When you get a useful idea, I'll write it down for you in the idea slate. Well, that's useful. You can now challenge your opponent's moves. Deer live in the woods added to the idea slate. Okay. You need to be careful though. If you say really stupid things, you lose cred credibility with the audience. From now on, your moves affect your credibility, which is this green bar thing. If you lose all your credibility, you forfeit the argument. Uh, I'm just fact-checking a salesman. Who am I going to lose credibility with? Me. <laughs> uh -huh. Your face is ugly added to the idea slate. So, I, I don't... Actually, I think this music is kind of... I'm sorry if you like the music, but it's getting a little bit annoying for me.